Okay, so how long before you can, Assessor? I, I don't know if she's going to make that. Yep, yeah, I'll wait, Adam. I need that conversation now. Yeah, just a minute, please. Look, I know you think I don't listen to you. Actually, I've got a woman in there whose middle meningeal artery is rapidly turning her brain into a paddling pool. Francis has found someone who will operate. Oh, well... Excellent, Nick. That is excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. So how long uh, are we talking soon? Adam. Uh, yeah, hello? Hello? Ah! Sister Bateman. Mr. Jordan, are you all right? Where is Charlie Fairhead? Day off. I thought I said. Why has this not been cleared with me? I should be informed. I'm sure it'd be fine for you to ring him at home. I've got his mobile number. Forget it. Is he here? Doesn't know what ward I'm in. Um, <laughs> looks like Robbie's not going to be coming, Marina. He loves me. Yeah, well, he, he, um, he seemed to say that you two weren't uh, together anymore. No! It's not true. It's just a row. Sick. Okay, uh, Jay. Okay. <laughs> Most silly argument. Italy. Hmm? Said I'd love him forever. Meant it. Yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> There's something I'm supposed to do. Uh, no, it's okay. You don't have to do anything, Marina. We're just waiting for someone to come and assess you. Where am I? You're in hospital. All right, try not to panic. All right, you're probably going to need an operation, and then you'll feel a whole lot better. Robbie, you have to ring him. I don't know if that's a good idea. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I didn't mean it. I don't care what he did. It doesn't matter. Please tell him. Promise me you'll do it. Promise me you'll ring him. Yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. How's the pain? Uh, had better days. <laughs> OK, I'll give you three milligrams more of morphine. That's your lot, I'm afraid. You'd have been better letting the thug take your handbag. Well, where is it? We must have left it in the other place! What have you got in oh, here? give it me. Is this what I think it is? Leave it! It is. It's lens. Lens ashes. Mum. Uh, you never approved of him when he was alive anyway, so what's new? You left us. No, no, it had got nothing to do with you. Because he was more important. <laughs> well, as it turned out, he proved to be quite useful today. Can't we get someone oh. to put this in a safe or something? Yes, of course. No, no, if you can't stand it, you needn't stay. Wait, you'd rather sit with a box of ashes than with your own daughter? You never will stand, will How you? Is this my fault? I think your mother might like to try and get some sleep uh, now, please. OK, fine. I hope you and Len will be very happy together. Oh, excuse me. Mr Murchison. Niall. Can I help you? These cubicles, they all look the same. Your brother's over here. There you go. Mr Jordan, yeah. the results? Ah, good. OK, won't be a second. It was you, wasn't it? What? The old lady. No. You were freaking out in the emergency room. You didn't want her to see you. You're mad. You had that before you got knocked over. You're imagining it, huh? Well, I'll take you to see her. She probably needs a visitor. No, no. Look, it's, it's not like I actually nicked anything, is it? I am glad Mum and Dad aren't here to see this. Well, well they're not. And I'm stuck with you. It's my worst luck. Everything! Everything I have done is for you, trying to give you a better chance in life. Well, what do you want, a blue Peter badge? For all you know, you've probably completely ruined that hand, and for what? Oh, just to write you off, give you something else to moan about. Oh, you little... Good news, CT is clear. Cheers, Doc. Right, let's have another look at this hand. OK. Right, just try and lift it for me. I can't. We have some help in here, please. We need IV access quickly. Go quickly. Okay. 
Yes, uh, I, I know he did, but Marina's asked me to call you again. Uh, well, the thing is, Robbie, that we're going to be operating very soon, and uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you, it's by no means certain that she's going to make it through surgery. Well, could you maybe just speak to her on the phone? Or... Okay. Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, bye. Hey, so what's the news with Jessica? Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. We didn't really get a chance to, to speak. Well, you must be thrilled, though. At least now you can get one of the rest of your lives. Uh, I just need to... I haven't had one of these the best part of three months. It's just since the accident. Memory loss, anxiety, headaches, seizures. Apparently I'm a living miracle. By all rights, I should be sucking my lunch through a straw. I don't believe in miracles. After I came off my bike, I thought to myself, I've got to get through this. I've got to be there for Eddie. And now you're asking yourself why? You heard us talking. Are you going to tell the police? Whoa, whoa, stop, don't say any more. Robbing old ladies. He's on his own. Well, he isn't, is he? Obviously, he isn't. I can't take it anymore, Doc. You know, there's no shame in asking for a helping hand once in a while. What would you know? OK, young man, you listen to me. Hey. I know how you got that. You're going to grass me up, then? Any other day I would, but today I'm going to give you a break. What, you some kind of pav? Your brother just had a seizure. Yeah, he's always having them. Enough. Do you understand? Today is the day you grow up and you start giving something back. I don't have to do anything. Well, then you're going to go to detention centre and Niall... ..he will fall apart. Why is he my responsibility all of a sudden? Because you're the reason he's about to fall off the edge. The reason he's like how he is is because he drank half a bottle of vodka, got in his 250 and started taking bends at 70 mile an hour. Yeah, he didn't tell you that, did he? You know what? I wish he'd left me in care. No, you don't. While he was in hospital, them foster parents, they had a bit of cash. If he'd have left me there, I wouldn't need to be out robbing old ladies. And I wouldn't need to listen to everyone banging on about how much of a flaming saint he is. Oh, look at Niall. He's got a steel plate in his head. Brought his kid brother up on disability. Where's this halo? Push against my fingers, please. Are you going to shot me, then? Push, please. Are you going to shot me? Ask your brother. He's the one with the evidence. You'll never do it. It's like how you say. He needs me. Your hand's fine, by the way. Nick. Francis, I thought you'd gone. Walk with me. I've got to be St James's at half past. Look, um, I still haven't had a chance to think about it. I've got to call Walter by seven tonight. Call me. Text me. Get them to page me. Just let me know, OK? You look terrible. Go home. I'm fine. I'm working. Look, you've got to tell me what's going on here. If you're not having the chemo... Please. Nick. It's a great fall, glioblastoma. It's too late for chemo. No. Three months. Dorothy Gilbert, she's in a lot of pain. Uh, yeah. Um, morphine. She's had 12 milligrams. Rest her down to 10 per minute. Femoral block. Yeah, femoral block. Good call. I'll do it. Oh, I'll tell her. Oh. Charlie's number. Thanks. Nick, please listen to me. No. I need to take a break. I don't need to do anything, thank you. I'm serious. Nick. Right, I'll blow this whole thing then. For your own good. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Like that. OK, OK, maybe I haven't been as supportive as I could have been. You want to keep on working? Fine. Fine. But you have to be in a fit state. And right now, you can hardly string a sentence together. OK. Well, I'll cover for you. Take as long as you need, then call me. And then... then we'll see. <laughs> 